What's up, Soul Tribe? It's your girl, Dominique, with Empathic Guidance, and I'm back with another video. Um, this one won't be a reading. I'm definitely just speaking on something that I just discovered on YouTube, which is somebody that's on here trying to steal my channel name, trying to steal my brand name. And it's kind of funny because it's like readers been bringing up lately that, you know, people are trying to make a name for themselves with your name. Um... One thing about me is that I'm very original, and y'all already know that because I can't stand a copycat, so I'm not going to be what I can't stand, okay? And when it comes down to whoever this woman is, uh, the video that Spirit showed me, because with the amount of videos that she have on her channel, which is like 12, I'm pretty sure that I wouldn't have ran across that video unless Spirit wanted me to see it. And... um. I don't listen to a lot of readers, but I do listen to a couple and a couple of readers have been bringing up the fact that, you know, people, you know, the whole slander and smear campaign, you know, lies, deceit, people trying to copy you. And most of the people that's doing this to you is because they want to try to take your place in some kind of way. One thing that I checked three whole years ago when I first created this channel for myself, yes, I had a YouTube profile before three years ago, but I turned it into an actual channel in 2019, 2018, 19, one of the two, okay, um, is that I made sure nobody else had this name. It's something that I came up with, everybody liked it, and felt like it was very unique. As y'all see, I don't have nothing about tarot on the end of my name. It's just empathic guidance because this is all about me using my experiential knowledge and what I can feel, you know what I'm saying, clear sentiently for other people and what they go through and being able to give people guidance from the heart and that's the thing that's unique about my channel for those of you that do watch because I do know I've been getting gang stalked for over a year and it's possibly by this this very same person that's trying to steal my channel name at this point um and I don't know what happened because you know what? I don't stalk my exes. I don't look people up. So I don't know what's been said about me. I don't know if rumors have been created. I don't know if it was a smear campaign. But I do know that my channel was doing very well last year where I was getting thousands of views, where my channel was growing, you know, a uh, 1,000 subscribers a week or whatever up until I got to like 17K. Now, that was a whole year ago. And that whole year, I've only grown another 2,000 subscribers. So now I'm at 19,000 subscribers, over a million views and 26 thousand videos that I've posted on this channel that nobody else has had the name of. Um, I'm not going to lie. The, the things that I've been going through for the past year, I have been committed to not really speaking on it. And when I do, I keep it pretty short and sweet because whenever I notice, whenever I have some type of complaint about what's going on in my life, it's really a lack of support. Everybody, you know, just be feeling like, oh, you know, rise above. But I'll notice when other readers are being gang stalked, bullied, harassed, and their things are being, um, tamper with and they're being reported for no reason then it's like they can get on to speak to their subscribers about that and it's no problem at all so with that being said you know i asked spirit what am i supposed to do about the stuff that's been going on with me and honestly i'm being asked to speak up you know so if you're the type of person that just think that somebody's supposed to suffer in silence for what they experience and how people are wronging them then this might not be the video nor a channel for you because I'm done being quiet. I'm done not addressing the things that are consistently going on in my life because me not addressing it is making people feel like they just have the right to just run over me. And I'm not allowing that anymore. Not without speaking up about it. The video that I ran across, um, it was a video talking about fake readers, gang stalkers, and copycats, which I find quite amazing that somebody would be talking about copycats when you just committed to copying somebody else's brand and having the nerve to be, hey, y'all, it's your girl, Empathic Empress Guidance. You didn't even try to get original with it, you know, because you threw a middle name up in there. That don't mean nothing. Empathic Empress Guidance, honey, you stole my channel name. And I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not above suing nobody. You know what I'm saying? Because at this point, I'm just ready to clap back on everybody that been attacking me. And that's just where, where I'm getting to. But, you know, I seen readings where I heard people say that people are trying to dismantle you as a person, you know, or as a pr profession, whatever it is that you do, so that they can basically take your place. And that will only be one me. Let's just get that straight. 
you know, and I'm not trying to put myself on no pedestal because just because I'm saying I'm original don't mean that I feel like I'm better than anybody. I'm just me. And there will never be another Dominique with empathic guidance. That's just it. Okay. So my thing is I'm putting this out in the forefront because at the end of the day, I'm not standing for the bullshit no more. It's like anybody that want to try to come for me, you might as well be expecting for me to stand up for myself because I'm not taking a weak, meek role anymore. And that's just that. So I suggest that you change your channel name before I take legal pursuit. And that's what I will say. Okay. So with that being said, again, y'all watch out because honestly, I pull cards on her. I'm not above admitting that because I want to know what type of person she is and she ain't no empath and she ain't no empress. That's one thing I will say. Okay. And another thing I asked if she was the enemy and the answer was yes. I asked if she knew about my channel before she made her channel name because of course, I don't want to be digging in nobody ass when they didn't even know, but who not going to know when my name is so unique? Nobody has ever heard of empathic guidance until I created empathic guidance. And I refuse for anybody to continue to coattail off of anything that I built for myself. Okay, so that's just the bottom line. I don't give a damn how many views I get or don't get on this channel. I still get clients off of posting videos on here because whoever do catch a video, I resonate very well with them. So at the end of the day, and also I've, I've had... Regular clientele for the past three years since I created my channel. So my thing is many of things that I have taught, um, illuminated and the clarity that I've provided people with, I've gotten that positive feedback of those things coming to fruition. So one thing, ain't nobody about to keep dragging my name, talking about I'm fake or none of that. And I mean, I, I've never heard nobody else say that, but I've heard readers say that in a reading that whoever these people are trying to smear your name, they're trying to make it seem like you a fake high priestess and this and this and that. Honey, you don't keep no clients for no three years long, as long as you done created yourself, created your name and your brand, if your content is fake. And if I'm so fake, then you wouldn't be copying off of me. Okay, this person ain't even a tarot card reader. They just on here creating content for whatever reason, talking about shit that they know gonna get views and talking about the readers on YouTube that's talking about black magic and gang stalking are basically just trying to instill fear when we actually trying to warn people so that they can protect themselves. So with that being said, I'm going to leave it there. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to be threatened anymore. I'm not going to be gang stalked. I'm not going to be bullied and I'm not going to be harassed without standing up for myself. So if that's something that you can't stand to see, then you might as well go on ahead and unsubscribe from this channel because from here on out, anytime I have to defend myself, I will. And I'll do it as respectfully as I can. But one thing I'm not going to be is ran over, blackballed, and have my brand stolen from me. And if you a true content creator, you'll understand where I'm coming from. If you're the type of person that only know how to mock and emulate other people, then of course you're going to side with the copycat. But I'm saying what I said and I said it and I mean it. So at the end of the day, that's my message to whoever this doppelganger energy is, which I don't even know why I'm using that because the doppelganger ain't a copycat. And I've been hearing people saying that and they've been irking my nerves. A doppelganger is not a copycat. It's somebody that just that you don't even know that look just like you. And that's that. And this girl don't look nothing like me. So at the end of the day, she ain't no doppelganger. She just a straight up copycat. Be original. Come up with your own channel, brand, and name. And don't get yourself legally pursued.